could just come this way, we can see most of them are trying to put together some of the informal settlements that have been damaged in this area. It's certainly going to take them quite a long time to piece together what has been destroyed uh, in uh, this incident. And uh, many of the people here are saying that they're going to need a lot of government assistance to try and salvage their goods uh, as quick as possible, fearing perhaps that uh, if the rains uh, do begin again, that might be a challenge for this community here. But uh, by the looks of things, there are more than 60 to even 70 families that have been affected. And uh, you see majority of the goods that are now lying here outside from wardrobes uh, to television sets, as well as some of the clothing, many of them saying they don't even have uh, clean clothing or uh, clothing that is dry to put on their backs at this stage. Of major concern as well is the children in this area. But just a little bit earlier on, the Gauteng Premier David Makura, as well as the Akurileni uh, Mayor uh, Montluku Ngubele, were also in this area trying to assess the damage. Let's speak to one of the affected uh, people in this area who has lost uh, absolutely everything. Sisi, thank you very much for your time. When I say uh, just to translate what she is saying there is that she's lost absolutely everything. You know, her shack has uh, fallen to the ground. She has absolutely no uh, dry clothes to wear, saying that she needs assistance uh, as well. And certainly it's going to take a lot of time. You can see uh, these residents here. We're going to get out of the way just a bit, just to, you know, give them a space to do their work here. Because certainly, I guess the rush at this point is to ensure that there is a roof over their heads uh, here tonight. Putuam, putuam, next <laughs> Essentially, what he is saying is that he tells a very sad tale of uh, being uh, receiving a call uh, just yesterday while he was at work and told uh, that his shack has fallen to the ground. He says he's not sure how long it's going to take him uh, to, to put the shack back together again. But he says uh, what needs to happen is that tonight he needs uh, to spend the night in the shack here. So it's a race against time to ensure that uh, by the time the sun does go down, his shack uh, has been put together again. Of most concern, of course, is the children in this area. But uh, many of them, if we could just point to this direction, our camera person, and Herbert Mamela. Many of the people just sitting outside uh, here now, you know, uh, enjoying the sun for some of them while uh, the most of the men in this area try to salvage uh, what remains. But uh, blankets are hanging on washing lines. Majority of the furniture that was, that was inside uh, has now been taken uh, outside in order for it to dry. So uh, really uh, quite a lot of government assistance is going to be needed uh, in this aspect. Chris Alder-Lewis.